Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the green caddis larva. Uh, this is a nice nymph. It's a proven fish catcher. You can tie it in olive, brown, or maybe rust. Just match the colors of the bugs on your home waters. It's a great fly for beginners to tie and it uses very few materials. So here's the fly in the vise. We'll get the tie started. The hook we're going to use today is a Core 1120 nymph scud hook. This is a size 14. You can tie this in 14s or 16s, I would recommend. And we'll start with a little bit of lead wire to help get this thing down in the water column. This is uh, 15 thousandths Danville's. And we're going to take a little bit of Zappa Gap and put that on the back of the hook just a drop. This will hold the lead in place, keep it from spinning around the hook. Just going to take several wraps forward. This is 15 thousandths lead. And that's already frozen in place. It's not going anywhere. There we go. Our thread is Danville's Flymaster 6 aught Color's black. We'll get this started. And we'll start right behind the lead. Form our jam knot. And we're going to wrap that well into the bend of the hook. Come back up where we're going to tie in our rib material. This is a uni soft wire. The color is neon olive. Danville's also sells a color chartreuse. And I can't tell the difference between the two. And we'll tie this in right behind that lid. And wrap back down to where our thread stopped well into the bend of the hook like that. In the abdomen of this fly we're going to use some Dave Witzlock's SLF dubbing. This is a blend of synthetics and natural hair. It's got a little bit of shine to it and it's spiky. So we're going to make a thin dubbing noodle here. You want to keep the noodle nice and thin. You don't want to bulk this body up at all. more. And now we're going to take that wire and palmer it up to form some segmentation on the body, the abdomen. Tie that off and just helicopter that wire and it'll break off for us. For the thorax of the fly we're going to use the the same dubbing and this is uh, called dark stone. It's uh, almost a black color again with just a little bit of sparkle to it. It's not going to take much of this at all. And I'm going to wrap back into the abdomen a little bit with this. And then back to the eye, get out our whip finish tool. Four or five turn whip finish, seat or not. Cut our thread. It's optional as to whether or not you put any head cement on this. Loons water based would work, works just fine. We'll put a drop of that on, I guess. I don't think it's really necessary on this little fly. And take our Stonefold tool out here and pick out some of this material. Give the illusion of legs and gills. And if it's a little too spiky, trim that up. And that's it. Our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.